That actually, actually scared me. <laughs> Hello everybody, uh, welcome back. This is uh, another episode of our Space Engineers Permadeath Survival and uh, we've got a banging sound going on here. Um, I have a feeling it's the drill out there. Some, something weird's going on. When's something weird not going on around here, to be honest? Let's go and investigate. Okay, my opinion is that it probably lurched down a bit too much. Maybe the pistons were extending while uh, while the drills were turned off. It should not really be possible. It shouldn't do that. But it, it is gradually drilling out. It's probably doing a little bit of damage in the process to itself. But yeah, this episode, we've got some work to do. We can't do our full um, sort of missile launch system that I've been talking about in the last episodes until this hole is complete because we're going to be needing to build in this space. But what we can actually start doing is considering how we're going to deal with it. So uh, we have a base over there that has recently launched something at us. We now have ammunition to deal with that. So we're fine there, but it's still going to do a bit of damage. We have one over there, we have one over there, one a bit further out there, one over there, this one, this one, this one. These are all problems because they're kind of guarding the magnesium hole. There are others scattered around that I can't actually get tabs on right now, they're not appearing, but there are more out there. Um, so. The way I want to deal with these, I want to build a missile system that we can basically launch up over to a point directly above each base. So we put one above each base and then we just drop them all and blow each base up all at once so that we've got less chance of a backlash from them and we're not traveling around so much triggering them. So it has it's going to have to be a drone system. I need to be stationary, stationary at the base because if I'm traveling from position to position I'll be spawning more about as quickly as I can get rid of them so we're going to avoid doing that what we will have to do though is find the points above each of these so we need some kind of a system that has a camera that is always pointing down no matter what the orientation of the craft because I don't I don't care what you say about like having the little um, attitude indicator saying whether you've got pitch or roll on there is no way on earth you're getting that perfect before your camera can be definitely pointing down. So given that we're going to have to launch from about three kilometers up so that we don't trigger the defenses on these to come after us, um, any deviation whatsoever off perfect is going to give us a little false reading of whether we're over it or not. And that thing's turned itself off finally. Yay. Right, so... What we need to do is, first thing we need to do is design a craft that we can use to get over each of these bases on a one-time thing, you know, just to just to get a reading and put a little GPS point that we can then use to guide our missiles. So, Meteor storm inbound. And that's great timing, isn't it? Where's this coming from? It always comes from Sunside, so it's probably coming from over there. Got an impact up there. Oh, there's a lot of these. Okay, well handled. Yeah, thanks very much for the comments recently and all the little bits of advice that you've given me. Um, I am taking these on board. Uh, I just want to just check if this got shot up at all while we were... Uh... Uh, no, everything seems fine. I don't think anything got shot up by an attack last time. If it was, it was minor. Right, so anyway. What we're going to have to do today is start designing some sort of a craft. We need a flying craft anyway, so this will serve that purpose as well. Uh, I just need to think where I want to start doing this construction, because uh, it's going to be a tricky build given that we can't fly. Uh, just for a recap there, our rover has had a little bit of an upgrade. It looks pretty sweet. Um, I did consider putting like a care package in it or a trailer on the back or whichever, but we've got the two gyros now, so... This thing should be unrollable. I won't, I won't go quite as far as to say unrollable because this is me. I'll roll it somehow. Um, but it should be able to roll itself back over. And these gyros are pretty well protected. The wheels are there. We'd have to lose both wheels and lose that to lose the gyro. So, right, let's turn my lights off. 
we don't need them on. Um, we could make the build. We could do a little bit of a building around here, or I could build a printer and print one of my older ships off. Um, I'm liking these windows now. Actually, now I can finally see them. I'm quite liking this. I've not actually stopped to have a look around this base yet. That looks pretty sweet. It's very brutalist, but in a nice way. Not not a stupid 1970s sort of police station building way. Um, <laughs> again, oh, there, there is a bit of damage there. Got a slightly warped panel up there. Okay, we'll deal with that later. Right, so do we use a pre-existing blueprint and print the thing off? Which means I can show you then how to build a printer. For those that haven't seen like the million times we did it on our first series. Um, or do we do something from scratch and hope for the best? We're on Pertam, it's gonna have to be hydrogen operated. There's no there's no maybes about that. It is going to have to be hydrogen operated. Uh, atmospherics will only get us so far. It certainly won't get us three kilometers up in the air. Um, which also means our missile system is going to have to be hydrogen operated. Which has me also thinking, maybe we could just build a truck with like a trebuchet on it, some sort of a, some sort of a catapult that can launch nukes. Yeah, it would also have to launch uh, decoys as well. It's a bit of a tricky one. But then again, if we go down that route, we can only go to one of these at a time. We could go with the drone. We can make the truck a, a drone, but then you don't have the situational awareness when you're driving between these. No, we're going to go flying, and I think I'm going to go down the route of printer simply because trying to actually design and build something with no jetpack uh, is tricky. So yeah, let's figure out where we're going to put a printer. We need one anyway. I need the means to be able to like sort of ream off like ships as and when we need them um that's occupado do we hmm. that's too small um where are we going to build our ship printer i think if we joined up these holes we would be able to actually get a ship out there and still print it from underneath Okay, that is what we're doing this time. We're going to build a ship printer underground. Then we're going to put some lights around here as well. I think the bottom floor might be wrong for this. Yeah, it kind of needs to be up on the next floor up. Uh, while we're here, let's just get some lights around here. Because uh, it is a bit dark. I will admit that. It's... it's bleh. Boing, 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 boing. Right, two floors now have a little bit of light at least. So I can actually turn these off. Uh, I need an access port so I can just configure these. That'll do. Panel lights. Okay, so now it's... Ugh. <laughs> so many of them. Um, the highest number goes to 23. So it's going to be the last, what, six or seven of them? Increase the radius a, little, a fair bit. Oh, that's nicer. Maybe the fall off. Intensity doesn't need to be quite so much. Uh, and we'll just give these a little bit of colour. So we'll just take some of the blue out just to warm them up a bit. Three there. Let's just go down and just check it was three. Because otherwise I've just done one of the... Something wrong. So it was four. But that looks fine as that is. Yeah, that's good. Right, so we've got light around there. We could probably do some more light over this end, but I'm not sure what I'm doing with that yet, so I don't want to place any lights too close to that yet. Um, we're not going to go playing around down here just yet. I mean... <sighs> that would just be silly. Uh, right. So let's go back up and get on with what we were actually supposed to be doing today. Now we're going to have to do a fair bit of drilling out. That's still working perfectly. Right, so here we go. Now, that floor is quite a bit lower than where we drilled out, but we don't really have to worry too much about that. So I think what we need to do 
is start at least framing out a lot of this. Um, just so we've got some sort of a, a floor to start from. Okay, so that's the bottom floor pretty much boxed in. That's about as big as that's going to get. That little doorway there is for like some sort of secret tunnel passage thing. Um, top floor continues along here. Uh, so let's see. This edit's going to be kind of super basic, I think, because uh, this is a very busy week. It's like trying to knock out two videos. It'll still be good. Quality will be there. But you won't be getting like loads, like millions of cuts. But you'd be lucky if you get music. <laughs> right. There we go. Right, so that's our mostly floor. Um, we are going to have to keep drilling in that direction, so I'm going to have to stick a drill on here. And push it that way. I think we need to be at least, let's see, to, to keep the um, way we drilled it correct. We have to go at least two up, so that's the block that the drills and everything are going to sit on. Oof, that's so loud and crispy. Give my fires a shot. One drill. Uh, we can leave gaps in these, and they don't have to be linked together because we're not collecting the resources off it. Drill. Drill. Yeah, this is going to be quite a long tunnel. It's not the longest I've built. I'll buy a long shot. The longest tunnel I ever built was 10 whole kilometers long and it had a train track all the way along it. So there's an underground tube train that took me from a base to a large ship construction site. That took a very long time to build. It was like a private build. I don't have it recorded. I wasn't a YouTuber back then. And I think the only copy of the save will be on the hard drive of my old computer which doesn't have a graphics card so I'll have to um, extract that hard drive and maybe get some sort of a caddy so I can connect it to here and pull that file off and I can show it off so yeah let me know in the comments down below if you'd like me to hunt down that old save file if it still exists and give you a tour of this base with the 10 columns along uh, rail line underground okay so let's just I'm not going to turn it on because that would be really stupid I need to put a seat on here right okay okay drills now of course we have our little drill drills and we have these drills block tools, drills. I have to make sure my little drill's turned off, so... Little drill is off. Right. Do this quickly if we can, because then I don't risk uh, right-clicking all my drills on the whole base. Okay, we have joined up. This is fabulous. We'll just do the other one as well, just so we can get it straight out as possible. Oh, we've got a lot of wobble going on here. Not going to affect it. Are we out all the way? No. A little further. Let all this settle in. Quick as that, we weren't far from the end to be fair.
So it looks like to me floor one is going to be a really big floor. And it'll be the one that links up to the secondary part of the base. At the launch hole. I'm going to call it the launch hole for now, but it may actually be more than that. Like, we're probably going to use that space for constructing large ships as well. That's going to mean a different discipline for the construction, though. Because we're going to be building kind of more vertically rather than horizontally. We're usually building horizontally when we do our large ships. Right, so let's have a look at what we've got here. I can get back up onto those, it's fine. Right, so we're quite far down actually. Um, sort of in the middle, but it won't be the middle anymore once we've actually drilled those three extra pistons down. Yeah, so we've got access now to this whole area here, which is a good exit. We, we probably need to put some kind of like a hangar door on this. Um, but I do want to build it sort of out a bit more. And then put the hangar door on it. Um, so let's start laying out some stuff. Uh, let's go a bit further. I've, maybe we just go until we join onto the wall on the other side. Or until I fall off this thing. All those red markers make me nervous. I'm so glad when we can finally get rid of them. Now we could go like the old-fashioned way, just build a kick-ass, like fight a drone, you know, drone or craft, and start flying around taking them out. If it's a drone, it's going to have limited visibility, so we're probably just going to lose straight away. It's going to be a bit weird building this because we're in, we're basically in a circular hole, well, nearly circular hole, bar that bit which we'll probably have to manually get rid of somehow. Um, but yeah, essentially, we're building a circular hole and we're using square blocks, so it's going to become a bit weird at some point. Right, that's our massive floor one. Um, at least the bottom of it. So, we'd be able to put a hanger on, a hanger door on here somewhere. That's definitely going to have to come out at some point. Um, this whole rig will come out when it's done. I don't think we'll need it. We'll have to build a, like a separate way up and down from here. Maybe a lift at the end of there or something. Um, we've got our lift script now. We can just do it. There's our old uh, mining hole. <laughs> right, let's go get some energy. Right, now we've got the big job of having to weld all of this up, so I'm not going to make you watch this. I'm not that cruel, so we'll come back to you very, very shortly. Okay, so that's totally built out now. We've got our absolutely huge floor. Um, I left one off on the end. I can't get to it to do it, so tough luck for now. Um, this hasn't moved an inch since, so... I'm not sure why it's dropped so low. I think what we're going to do is we're going to try and fix that if we can. Uh, we just need to like raise these uh, drills just touch maybe because it, it, it banging around the way it has been doing it's bound to get stuck at some point. So what we're going to do, um, we're going to have to go find a seat somewhere and make some quick tweaks. So right. Right, this would be a lot easier if we had a seat over there, but do you know what? It's fine. Um, so, little drill pistons. Um, let's just go to pistons right now. It's all of these. So, that's at 10, that's at 10. So, both of these are at 10. So, what I need to do is put the minimum distance to, ooh, let's say, 8. 8.5 maybe on both of these so minimum 8.5 ish for each of those and then we're going to reverse both those drills 
the both of those pistons, sorry. We're going to have to turn them on. Just so that they do reverse. Once they get to 8.5 each, we can then set the maximum to that. Right. Maximum distance. I'll say 8.6 just so we don't end up overlapping. Okay. And now I can reverse again and whack the minimum distance back down. Now I need to check my timers. Uh, that's off. That's off. Okay, they're both off. Um, right. So yeah, it might have got a bit too low and it's been triggering itself uh, on the timer. Like bouncing around and sort of re-triggering itself. It will start going again once um, we run low on resources. Right, so before, I, I'm not going to put a roof on all of this. I think some of this will be like inside and we can have a roof over it. Some of this will be kind of, we want the extra floor height to be able to cope with this. So it could be considered to be outside. And I think the printer bit needs to be in that sort of outside area. Um, I have my visor closed because we have a storm. This is an inferno coming in, I think. We're hot right now. Temperatures are really ridiculous on this planet. We need to make sure that the ship can get out that way once it's built. So the build platform, let's just get some paint on here. Okay, so the build platform can be... It's better. I think it's going to be most of this. Um, going to need to give at least room for the wall and a walkway. Wall, walkway. Uh, room to get out, I guess. But we can do it on this edge here. Don't want to go much further than that. We should be able to build most of my ships on that, but we're just going to give it one more to be safe on each side. Right, so that's our ship's platform area there. Right, so the way this will work is we need to have a welder wall on one side. Um, and then a piston that sort of pushes the blueprint through the welder wall. The alternative is you have the blueprint stationary and you pull the welder wall away from the blueprint. Now, we're also gonna have to consider that we need to bring resources over to wherever we put the welders. So I think we're gonna move the welder wall. We're gonna do this backwards. Good, right. What we need here is something to get a small grid out of this system. So we're gonna need to have a hinge I prefer a hinge for this job because it, it's a bit neater. Look how we yellow. Do we put it? Do we offset slightly? Yeah, I think we put it there. No, there. That will do. We're going to have to bring resources all the way over to where the welder wall starts. But because the welder wall's on pistons, and this is why I chose to do it this way, because the welder wall's on pistons, it can extend into this space and retract way back past it, so opening it up a bit more. It should automatically stop at 90. 90! No. Perfect. Now we can just turn that velocity down to zero so it doesn't do anything weird. And we can lock it. Put some braking torque on to stop it moving around by itself. Lock it. Even turn it off actually. Um, welder wall hinge. Is that even the right way around? It's probably not even the right way around. I you see, this is the bit I always get stuck with. I never know which way round these bloody things go. 
Uh, I'm going to put it that way. I have no idea if that's even right. We'll find out soon. Good. Right, so I need to put a projection on this projector. So this is going to be world of wall projector. I want one of my ships that can definitely go to space on hydrogen. That's the main aim here. Um, ship that can definitely go to space on hydrogen. Ideally one you've not seen before. Yeah. Okay, that's definitely the wrong way up. That's better. Does this fit? This is the vehicle I want really for this sort of a task. It's like all hydrogen. It's got a little bit of uh, Atmo. It's got enough. It should be able to handle in this um, in this location, maybe. Um, it's a bit stupidly built. I could, you know, it, but it's perfect for this sort of little task. Uh, it could be refitted as well. I think we need to. I think it's actually in a good place. This should do the job. Right, so here, now what we need to do is just put some little blocks on uh, just to connect it up to uh, the projector because otherwise it can't be built. that I can't get high enough to do it there we go yes always start your, your your build if you can from the connector just because uh, and because this is also has hydrogen so it also has atmo just enough atmo to go up and down um, we shouldn't have to worry too much about getting it connected immediately but we could possibly bring pipeline across here connect to that uh, some sort of feed pipe or find another pipe around here somewhere like one of these ports here and add on something so right next we need to bring over just enough um, yeah just enough conveyor line to get to where that is so I think we're going to have to come off, possibly here actually. That's the best place to come out of. So lots of conveyors. Um, we're going. Was that a spider? It's such a short blast. It must have been a spider. Um, right, we're going to use these. Yeah. Right, so that's our conveyor line. We can turn this part into a wall, so... Just to, so it looks a bit neater. Right, one thing I've learned recently, um... Less than half of the people watching this... are probably subscribed. So you're missing out on quite a lot of stuff if you're not catching all the episodes. Uh, I know that there's a lot of you that sort of jump in mid-season because you see the cool video and think, oh, yeah, that'd be interesting, and you start to like it. I would strongly suggest, take a moment now while I'm welding this up, to subscribe to the channel. And go and watch the series from the beginning. Some of the audio at the very beginning is a bit jank because I was, like, messing around with different microphones. Um, we only got this really good microphone quite late on, but... It's still worth watching. And then you know what I'm doing and why. And you won't miss the next one. I promise at some point we will actually like design a new ship. But like right now we need something. In fact, actually, to be fair, our large ship that we're going to be building for the interplanetary journey that is going to be a brand new build from scratch anyway. 
Plus, we've still got to design our missile system. Uh, well, it's not really going to be a missile, actually. It's more likely going to be, I think, kind of like intercontinental ballistic missiles, the way they work. They sort of go, boof, up into space, and then they sort of do their big arc, and then they come down and split up into multiples and drop. It's going to have some things in common with that, but not, like, entirely. The idea is we're going to get it over a point, so I'd say, like, three, three and a half kilometers above the target, and then it's going to split up into a bunch of um, decoys first and then drop the main warheads immediately following the scattered decoys so that the warheads end up on target. The decoys ideally end up around the target, distracting the guns. Boom. Bye bye enemy completely in one shot. That's the theory. Um, we've got to actually construct the thing. And it's kind of tricky not having a jetpack to do all this with. Um, so we also, before we construct this thing, have to construct the means to construct it. Which has me thinking as well, if we use this to print a missile, which we possibly could do, it might fit in a space like this, um, or a bomb cluster or whatever it's going to be, we're going to need like a crane system out here, like an arm thing that can pick it up and put it on the launcher and have it go. So that's another construction we're going to need to do. We've got a lot of things that we're going to have to build. It is going to be missing something. See that little bit there which is like missing a chunk in the middle? That's where the power plant went. It doesn't have one. We'll put batteries in, it'll be fine. Right. Just like just replace a deuterium fusion reactor with some double A batteries. I'm sure it'll be alright. <laughs> it should do the whole bottom. Because the bottom is like Yeah. It it does like up to half a block away on the underside. Um Is there anything in like more than half a block away that starts? No. Okay. So that should do that for now. Um Definitely going to get quite toasty by those buttons, so we'd have to move away. Or perhaps we put the buttons like safely back here. They served their purpose. Right, so we don't turn the welders on until they're all the way out. I'm going to start naming these welders actually. We'll see how far that comes out. We might actually have a good course to put the button over here somewhere. So for those that don't know how these welder walls work, the principle is the welders start from the back where this connection point is, and it's the only block that's available to be built. As you can see right now, it's not available to be built because we're in its space with the welders. But it'll start from the back and it will weld up as it moves along here. So basically weld all those things that are connected to this, weld the next lot that are connected to what's being welded and so on until it gets out the front and it should be complete at that point, providing the welders were able to touch everything. Right, we're at the end now. So this is where I need to start figuring out where I'm going to shift some buttons. So everywhere on this block space here is dangerous. We wouldn't want to stand there even if you paid us. Uh, next to it, like here is dangerous as well. The only truly safe spaces wouldn't be around here because then once it's on you can't get out. So it would actually be way back here would be the one safe space. So I'm going to put our button panels over here. There we go. Right, now we're going to have to group up our pistons as well, so welder, piston 1, piston 2, welder wall pistons, that's all we really need. And now what we do is we say, right, on the group, on button 1, groups, welder wall pistons, reverse, um, welder wall Toggle on off, yeah. It's fine. 
and we also before we start the whole thing up uh, I need to put some like labels on these actually not too pretty but it works but before we do any of that projector Keep projection show only buildable there we go right so now the projection clears it up so I can see what's being built and what's not much better and the projection will come back at the end so we know it's done so we do turn the welders on and we reverse the pistons now I can have a look here as long as I don't get into the sort of sparkly end it should be fine I'm not going to do a speed read <laughs> Right, so it's welded up the few blocks that uh, it was connected to, that's normal. Now, providing we've got all the materials, it should just do this. The only things I can think of that we might run short on are things that require cobalt, because we've had a limited supply of that, but we did gather enough to keep us going for a while. And we haven't really used much. We've not used many metal grids in this build so far. Now, it won't build that tank or that fuel tank until it's actually like out of its range there you go so that just like flies through it now the risk is that certain blocks could get out of range before they complete the last thing you want though is for your materials to run low in the middle of the one of these builds All right i can see a few bits that weren't finished the um him, the the landing gear is out of range that light's probably out of range the light's not out of range just oh it went out of range before it was completed though right i think that's everything so now I can turn the welders off, it's safe. No reds, no sparkly end. Uh, we can just weld up these bits. All the materials should be in them, except for the ones that were out way out of range. Yeah, it, fly, it flew through this whole chunk a bit too quick. Yeah, we definitely flew through it a bit too quick. Right, I'm going to finish this off, come back to you once it's done. Right. Awesome. Energy critical. Right, energy's critical, but this is, at least on the outside it's done. We need to have a proper look from the inside, and then we need to remember to slow those pistons down before. Right, so inside is the, it's jumpable, well I made it that way. Let's just make sure everything here is welded up. We have air tightness in this thing. It's a very simple build. It's called the hopper. Um, we have access to a Gatling tumult for our ammo there, but there's also an ammo feed in the back. But yeah, this is this is it. It's really simple. It's just a little four-seater uh, with an O2 generator in it. There's another one on the back. Um, loads of hydrogen on this. It primarily it's designed to sort of like take off with the four massive um, Atmos and then you sort of point the nose up and use the big um, thrusters at the back to go forward. Couldn't really be much more simple. Um, we could potentially take these lights off on either side of there and put an additional one of these on if it's struggling. Uh, I don't think it's really necessary. This thing isn't mega heavy. It is mostly like light armor empty space and a bunch of thrusters like stupidly strapped to a bus it's probably the most ridiculous thing i've ever built to be honest i just did this out of the blue one time because i got stranded on a planet in a similar mode to this no jetpacks what's taking over there saw a moving and marker twiggling twiggling moving <laughs> twiggling right 
Okay, it's nothing. At least at the moment, anyway. Right, so we can't just go cutting that off right now because the batteries are charging. Um, that. Um, we've got room to put a couple more thrusters on there if we needed to. Um, so it is there is room for upgrading. The um, there we go. Yeah, so we've got a gun on the top. It's a nice big Gatling. Um, yeah, that is where the old uh, generator used to be. So we've got space there for something else, maybe a generator, but I don't want to use hydrogen on this. So for now, I think what we'll probably use this for is maybe a, just an additional battery. It fits neatly in there. Look, there we go. That just protects that battery. It was supposed to protect a really fancy looking reactor, but you know what? We don't, we don't have them. It's a doff doo doo. Now, this thing, it has. Does it have storage space? It's been a while since it's built this, so let's just check as it got like storage space. It's got under seat storage for things. Um, what we could do is save some weight. Let's take out these. Right. Uh, we can turn the projector off now, actually. Done its thing. Yeah, that's better. Right, so we have our 002 generator here. The whole purpose of that is this thing has very limited storage space. So the whole purpose was we put enough ice in there to fill these up and then it generates the hydrogen you need to take off on the way and you just get a bit more well, to come back with. But... Um, I think what we're going to do is actually stick a cargo container in here. So that gives us a means to feed ice in to fill the hydrogen tanks without actually taking up all of our hydro. So let's just grab some ice. Um, if there's any left. And all of our ice. Yeah. Okay. We are like totally out of ice. We're going to need more. Okay, we need to do a trip back to the main part of the base and check on our cargo situation while these batteries finish charging. So, I don't think any of these thrusters are on, which is fantastic. Um, we've got two more generators there. So we've got loads of O2 generators on this thing. It's enough to sort of produce enough on the fly for it to just fly on ice. Um, but yeah, we're going to go and take a look at our cargo situation. But the whole floor there we've done nothing with yet. And a door here that opens with no walls around it. So ice, yeah, 3.9k, which is in the water system, so that's fine. Um, we didn't get much gold out of that that we got. What platinum did we manage to get? 0.2. Platinum refines really poorly. Low, we're sitting on 300k of gravel, though. That's, that's a problem for our... Um, used a lot during that period batteries when that's full my new ship's full cargo use we've got a lot of damaged stuff up on top we're gonna have to go upstairs and do some fixing oh we've got so we've got at least one thruster on the hopper that's not finished we're gonna have to deal with that um cargo wise we're nearly empty so so hydrogen wise we're not going to get very far on 3k of ice. So we may actually have to connect it up. You know, I'm not going to bother with that door right now. Um, and we've got a thruster that's not filled, finished off. Should check everything else to make sure. Yeah, okay, we're good. Right. We could just like lay it on the floor, spin it around on its uh, gyros and connect to the back here, but... It's a bit messy. We need to turn the gravel ejector back on so that can get drilling down. It's going to hit ice eventually. Um, Meteor storm inbound. Oh joy. Uh, 
let's see how much hydrogen we've got downstairs. I need energy anyway, so I've got to go down there. One. So they're 25% full each. It's more than enough to fill the um, hopper. If we can get the hopper space worthy, we might be able to go up and uh, try and pick up some... Um, hmm, some silver. That's going to be a tricky one with the hopper, though. Um, it's not a drilling ship. Which would mean having to get out in zero G with no jetpack. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, all of that stuff's flying away. <laughs> I mean, the hydrogen capacity on the ship is not massive. So it shouldn't take too much to get it off the ground. But it will need a nice store to stay off the ground. Handy. We ideally want to leave, like when we do eventually leave, we ideally want to leave with a full like complement of ice and full hydrogen tank. This is what we were talking about a couple of episodes ago, how like we can drill out that seam, but we've got to be kind of subtle and careful about it so we don't end up putting holes in the top. That should definitely be at least enough to get this thing somewhere it can actually connect to a, a pipe to fill up the rest of the way. So that's at least something. Um, I do want to have at least some ice left over at the end of it. 6k in the hopper cargo. There is another hot cargo container in here somewhere. Uh, we also need to start ejecting some gravel because we need to get that drill going again. Um, gravel. There we go, it's definitely definitely ejecting. It's just over there. It's gonna sound loud for a bit. Right. Okay, let's not go too overboard with all of this. Let's um let's do one more little uh go of this and sounds like somebody's out there with a big brass, like a big steel drum or something. <laughs> Donkey Kong's outside. Right, that handles all of that for now. Right, so we'll just let this do its thing. It's going to have to recharge the batteries anyway um, before we even consider cutting that off there. Drill's going again. Right, so we're kind of back right again there. Once these are fully out, which is not really very far for it to go, we can extend it with the other drills so I'll put two more in place of that and it will continue where it left off from there um, this hole is currently about four pistons deep now it's going to go another three pistons before it's done so like nearly that much again down it's going to be very 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 deep so this is going to have to turn into quite a building that sort of works its way down from there so might use stairs um, I think putting another lift in could be cool, but another lift is going to basically end up being like, well, however many other pistons we do, it's just going to be more than that. Um, we could convert this into a lift, so we just turn the thing around. Why is that stopped there? That's why it's getting stuck. It's not triggering on the voxels anymore. It's probably 50 meters or more away from that. Um, sensor. Just make sure the ranges are full. Oh, yeah. Okay. 
little drill needs to be turned off before it starts going down too far again. And I need to get out there and start putting some blocks in that the sensor can work off. That's why it's being problematic, it's out of sensor range. I'd love to get up to one of those at some point. But we're going to need to figure out how we get about outside without our jetpack in space. Maybe a little personal drone. Um, yeah, we'll just let that chuck it all out. It's fine. Right, so we're going to have to come down here. Um, oh, shit. The ladder just ends and it lets you fall off the bottom. Thinking marvellous. Okay, so right where that is there, uh, about here I need to put just a block. So we're just going to put some blocks in um, somewhere around here. Is that even going to work? Probably will. Oh, I don't have the materials. I don't have any materials. Ah. Okay, I'm stuck in a hole. Right, this is a, a puzzle for us. I'm stuck in a hole with no materials to build ourselves out. The nearest ladder's all the way up there. don't have... Aha! There we go. Right, so... What I could do... Um, see if that there is just got out of range when it comes to about here. So if I could put another block in, it could do like a fair way further. So yeah, it's definitely going to need something in about there something hidden in the middle just outside of drilling range That should cause it to trigger properly. Where's the sensor placed, actually? Oh, the sensor's up there, isn't it? We need to move the sensor down to here. Um, I think we change it to a sensor on the end of here, so something that detects voxels. Um, it's going to have to be like here, so it's not detecting the end of the wall. Right. Do we have a sensor on our bar? Obviously not. We'll put it. Must have just crossed the threshold. <laughs> right. Front and back's fine as they are. Okay, so proximity let's find it. Players off. Uh, small ships, nope, 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 nope. Sub grids. Mm -hmm. Asteroids. Asteroids. Bingo. Because technically a planet's an asteroid in this case. That's going to be a reverse on the rotor, so undetected reverse. That's all it is. Uh, we can then take this thing off. Take that off hard. 
Hit reverse on the and rotor now. Low. I know. Um, I'm just gonna reverse you now. And then when the drill turns back on, that should turn around and go the other way. That should trigger the reversal. The sensor at the top. It's the old one. Take you off. And that should do the trick. That should be everything. Right. We don't want this thing going, you see. Well, we've got a big like ladder thing attached to it. <laughs> we need some energy now. And then we've got to figure out how the heck we're going to get out of here. I could just ride the lifter back up to our ladder up there. Yeah, we're going to do that. So, I think we're okay in range for that. So, I'm going to do um, piston. Use your farm attached here. Okay, pistons. Little, uh, little drill, piston one. On and reverse. Two on and reverse. When we get back up, we'll reset this whole thing back to correct. Something I definitely need to do is put like a stopper on that. Okay, so now I need to reverse those pistons and turn off that gravel ejector again. Piston one, reverse. Piston two, also reverse. I'm going to take this um, sensor off at the top here. Seems like radio components and uh, steel plates take up space. Right, okay, let's check on these pistons. 7.98 meters. Now turn you off and turn you off. And then little drill as a whole can go back on. So uh, right, yeah, it's working again. Right, so now we just need to make sure that it turns around when it gets to the end. Come on, you can go. Just one little bit more. I'm going to have to reverse the pistons again just to get them to go up a bit. Maybe not. Hey! Yeah, and it's not banging into the wall anymore because I've given it a little bit more leeway this time. To put like a little ramp there. Right, so do I go down to zero? I don't want to be at zero, I want to be at one. No, I want to be at zero. But I got hurt. So nice that I can now do this. <laughs> I can actually put my health up now. Right, let's go to one. This elevator works flawlessly. You can get the script on the um, workshop now. It's um, side prime. It's either side prime's elevator script or prime's elevator script, one or the other. 
um, to sort of for my workshop, I guess. It's got the same name as I play on here. Um, right, so next time, I think what we'll do is we'll make sure these batteries get full, so we have to wait for those. It's probably going to be putting them on recharge. Um, we're going to have to fill up our hydrogen tanks at the moment. They are currently at... 100%. Okay, that's full. So we just need to top up the ice then. Make sure it's full of ice as well. Then we can take it off here. Fly it out. Holy crap. That actually, actually scared me. Huh. I heard it. It was like right there. On the upside, it didn't spawn inside the base. It can't spawn on one of these blocks. But it can spawn right there and drop down. So we have kind of given the spiders a way in. But hopefully these uh, turrets will take care of them before that happens. Oof, okay. Nice sort of shock at the end of the uh, the end of the day. Right, so yeah, we're gonna we're gonna take this out and get it at least onto the surface and find the landing pad up there. Um, we're gonna switch these drills over to using these pistons uh, on the next go, and we are. What else are we gonna do? Oh yeah, and we're um, hopefully gonna get some markers over our enemy bases. Um, maybe we'll try a trip to space. We'll see how the fuel on this thing goes in per time. No promises. So we'll start with all of that possibly on next Tuesday. I'm gonna try to get an episode out next Tuesday. And um, we'll finish whatever we don't get finished then on the following weekend next week. So. We will, I'm just going to park myself in here for today. We will see you next time. Bye.